disturbing, pungent, genius. All words used to describe the controversial artist Stephen Francois. Francois. At Despite minutes. achieving universal Gold. acclaim and success, little is known about the man behind the Francois persona. In this episode, we ask the questions. Where does he find the inspiration for his work? Why does he insist on staying in the shadows? And who is the real Stephen Francois? No one is really sure who is behind the work of Stephen Francois. However, the most popular theory in art circles is that Francois is in fact Leslie Biggs from the notorious Biggs crime family. Biggs often found himself in trouble with the law and at the age of 18 he was sent to Broadstairs Prison in Essex. Jonathan du Maurier, noted art collector and man about town, claims to be a very close friend and confidant of Leslie Biggs during this period. We instantly bonded over our shared love of abstract impressionist art and ping pong. With my encouragement and hands-on tutelage, he quickly developed his staggeringly artistic voice. Channeling his violent contempt for human life and unresolved daddy issues, Stephen created this series of striking triptychs, which I snapped up for a small fortune, naturally. It is believed to be around the time of his release that Leslie Biggs assumed the pseudonym Stephen Francois. With assistance from several wealthy benefactors, Francois quickly found success with a series of shocking exhibitions and installations. Mother! You are shit. Father, you are shit to me. Teacher, you are shit. Despite his success, Francois shunned the spotlight, preferring to use decoys, doubles, and a trusted group of unpaid art graduates to help safeguard his anonymity. We have managed to secure an exclusive interview with Francois. However, he has declined to appear in person and will instead communicate via a slow cooker. If I may ask, do you believe your obsession with excrement comes from deep-rooted, complex childhood issues? See, Stephen Francois never had a childhood. Stephen Francois came into existence fully formed. Let's just say that when Stephen Francois looks for inspiration, he doesn't look up at the stars, no. He looks down at the toilet bowl to see the real disgusting face of society. You happen to be in the unique position of being extremely popular with both the privileged art world and the uneducated masses. Why do you insist on staying in the shadows? Stephen Francois is everywhere and nowhere at the same time, but also everywhere. What would you have to say to these critics that accuse your work of being crass and uninspired? Well, Stephen Francois has just sold a literal gold-painted turd for five million quid, so I'd say that's pretty bloody inspired. Is your real identity that of Leslie Biggs? This interview is over. This interview is over. We may never know the man behind the Francois facade. However, as long as hordes of aimless public line up to gawk at his painful and provocative work, we must instead look inwards to find that perhaps we are all the real Stephen Francois. <laughs>